Now, the other thing we're being asked for is an avgas depot. That's aviation gas for your general aviation planes. And I'm going to put that away from the main road. Put it down here. Get our service road and paint that in. And then let's demonstrate one-way roads. So the game assumes you drive on the right-hand side of the road. But let's force it in this instance. This is the entry and this is the exit. Um, right, so next we need to purchase a truck. And that's something new we haven't done yet. So we go into our operations menus. Go to the vehicles tab. Blue is what you've already purchased, which of course is nothing. Purple is all of the options of what you can choose, which at the moment is just these trucks. Um, there are filters here, if you switch that off you can pick by different categories. Obviously there's only fuel at the moment anyway. And you get to choose how many you order. Now I've got a bad habit of thinking it would start from zero, so I click that in order to order one. <laughs> That's not necessary, it starts on one. Um, We've only got five general aviation stands. We're really not going to need more than one truck. Let's just order that now. And you'll see it takes a while to turn up. Obviously that's ticking down quite fast because I'm on triple speed right now. Once it arrives, you'll see it come in through the world entrance tunnel. Turns up through the service gate, parks, then realizes it has no fuel. <laughs> but so does our depot have no fuel, right? We have to wait for fuel to be delivered. And in order to do that, we have to have a contract with a fuel company. So go back into your menus, go into economy, look for offered contracts. Now we've got a few to choose from. And much like before, when we were talking about contractors, you really always want to go with the highest star rating available. So, if we look at the one star, that's $1.51 per litre for Avgas and $0.38 cents for Jet A1. Compare it to a two star, $1.55.42. So, this is actually cheaper than the two star. Interesting. But if we look at the three star, a dollar thirty-two and thirty-one cents is cheaper than the one star as well. So let's go with our three star option. And here comes our fuel delivery truck. I'm gonna slow down the game. I don't know why it decided to do that weird U-turn. Actually I may know why. To avoid that nonsense happening again, I'm going to shift this service road slightly. Now you'll notice this truck isn't going anywhere. And it's just vanished. Momentarily it will re-arrive. This is a problem with the pathing in the game. It turned essentially the wrong way out of the depot. So despite the fact this was set up as a one-way loop, it's tried to drive the wrong way. So let's undo that for the moment. Holding down control to remove. I'm a bit puzzled by that, but I have seen that behaviour before. 
until he's actually emptied and needing to refuel. We're not going to know what's going on, so let's do the final step, which is enable avgas. So if we go back into our menu, go to our operations tab, enable avgas. Cool. So to complete the task, we need to refuel five aircraft. Let's just watch that happen. Now they have to request it. They've been sitting here during a period where um, fuel wasn't a service we offered, so these planes aren't likely to request fuel. The other thing you'll notice here is there's a red mark on our runway saying the runway is in bad condition and no one wants to land on it or take off. So we need to repair our runway, which obviously has a cost. Right, this plane is just arriving, there's a good chance he's going to order fuel. Here we go. Doesn't take very long to fill up such a small plane, and he's done. So that's one out of five. The truck's driving all the way back down here. Oh, a new job's turned up, so he's done a U-turn. And you'll see that sort of thing keeps happening. So if we hover over him, it's going to take him a really long time to run out of fuel, so I'm not going to be able to test this just yet. Looks like it's only taking half a percent of his fuel capacity to fill up each one of these planes, so that's going to be a very long wait. But very soon, we will have refueled five aircraft. The other thing I want to show here quickly, if I go to service vehicles, we have one service vehicle, it has uh, claimed the one job available, that will soon turn to zero. Now if it timed it in such a way that we got multiple planes pulling up at the same time, all wanting fuel, you'd see this job counter pop up to say two or three, but only one would be claimed because of course a vehicle can only do one task at a time. Alright, so the game's telling us we can just continue playing with our General Aviation Airport, or we can proceed to the next stage, which is, of course, building a commercial terminal. But for the moment, I'm just going to expand our General Aviation by putting in some more of these. And of course, I can't place it there because there's a road in the way now. So, the sensible thing to do would be to turn off our fuel service, switch that off, He's still fulfilling a job, but once he's finished, he goes back down here and gets out of my way. Cool. Now you don't need to have all these extra planes, I just like to do it. It keeps the airport looking busier and adds to your income, effectively. So let's replace that little bit of road that I didn't need to get rid of. And let's build in our traffic, uh, sorry, our taxi path. Tap, tap, tap. So now we have nine parking spots for these planes instead of five. Now there's only one other service that these planes will ever need, and that's a hangar. But I don't think hangars are available yet. No. So we'll come back to that in a later stage. And really, this just completes the GA airport 